sudden. Ah! Today, we woke up to more upsetting news.
circus ends now, Ten Ten. Oi! We're crashing your party! Hello! Ten Ten! Look, boys, our one true love is finally here. Let's be the ideal boyfriends and give her our utmost attention. What? Attention! Wait, why are we saluting again? We salute you for gracing us with your exotic beauty, your lustrous hair, your beautiful gaze, even your lips, which form that radiant smile. Our breaths are stifled. Stifled, 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 stifled. <laughs> You don't think you can sway her heart that easily? She's not going to fall for those cheap compliments. You tell him, eh? Hey. Wow. You're just jelly that all these pretty boys are fawning over me. May. Did you hear what they said about my lips, though? <laughs> what have you done to her, Ten Ten? <laughs> Hair's gonna hate. When we show up, we get the sexy mission done. You better put on your tactical thermal goggles because we're gonna bring the heat! <laughs> Woo! So hot, so handsome! May! What? <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Intruders! Where? Oh. You mess with my troops? You mess with me! Ten Ten never surrenders! Deploy! Maintain Operation Party all night! Baby, I'm electrified! I'm electrified! Fire button! There's no use! They keep coming! We're better off chilling with these handsome robots and taking out their crib and after that we can have a jacuzzi party with them and- Okay, that flying factory has got to go. Oh, 
What? Oh. Good work. I think we're done here. Or not! As long as the flag of freedom stands, I will keep on fighting, commencing all kill protocol for Anastar! I'm not here to finish you. I know you broke Inu's piano. <laughs> You're here for my factory, aren't you? Just do it then. Do it! What are you talking about? We just want to... Fine! Go ahead and break my troops. But know that you'll never break my spirit! <laughs> do robots get injured? How is he even coughing? I'm a cyborg! 
and coughs? The blood that I spilled through my mouth? Mouth? I do it for NSR! Okay, we're just gonna head home now. Home? I remember what home was like. I dream of a day where the children can run innocently on the streets again. Their eyes glittering with jubilation. So I made a promise to myself. A promise to bring peace back to my people. And until that day comes, I vow to serve this city with my utmost dedication. Because that is who I am. I got soul! I am a soldier! Oh, what have I become? I have changed so much! The things that I've done in the name of NSR, I would not wish it to my worst enemy when I... Hey! I'm talking to you two! Where are you going? Do you think what you're doing is right? What is it that you guys fight for? What is it that you guys want? Well, I don't mind a sign poster of 1010. May. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on! I have not reached the point about my deployment to the Asgard faction in 68. It was an unforgiving journey to the ridges of Kowan. The chill was enough to brittle the spirit of any battle-hardened warrior. As I trudged through the mountains with only my compass and the parachute on my back, Start with one quarter cup of water. Bring that to a boil and add your aromatics which consists of two cloves of garlic and two shallots peeled and cut into quarters. Some red pepper flakes, very essential by the way, and six Can you please stop punching my TV? Why did you even punch it this time? Hey, look. I've already scrolled through all the channels and I couldn't find a single news about NSR. That chef had it coming. Is that really the excuse you're going with? Yeah. I mean, what's up with her hair, man? Ugh. And she kind of looks like Tatiana's sister. Ugh. Forget it. Another special segment here on Zam FM. Get ready to jam because we have the increasingly raved after indie band Bong Bad Junction. And here's our call of the day. Hello there. Do introduce yourself. Hi Zam. Thanks for the chance to speak to Bong Bad Junction. Hello, Mayday and Suk. I'm Arnold. Hello, Arnold. So glad to be able to talk to you too. I remember tuning in some time back and you were talking about the meaning behind the band's name. Love that you two have a reason behind the things you do. And it got me wondering if there's a significance behind your gloves. Ah, you noticed. Told you someone would, Zook. You can tell Arnold about it, May, since it was your idea. So, Bunkbit Junction is the two of us always together and one. Like our bunk bed, we also share our outfits. Uh, not in the way that you might think. We bought this suit a long time ago and split it! Zook took the top and I took the bottom. We then did the same thing with a pair of gloves. I had to cut the fingertips though, cause they were messing with my friend hand. You two really are close, huh? You two have a fight then. Or have you always been fine with Mendes' decisions, Duke? 
I do try to avoid arguing, but sometimes we still disagree. And then agree to disagree. Compromise, you know? What was the last thing you two compromised on? Well, I don't know if it's a compromise, but since Mayday broke my NSR drumsticks, I had to glue them back together. You really broke his drumsticks? NSR sucks. We shouldn't be supporting them in any way. My drumsticks have been with me for a long time. There was no need to throw them away like that. But carrying any form of NSR's merchandise just doesn't jive with what we're doing. I understand where you're coming from, but it was a real pain to glue them back together. I think I have blisters now. Don't use them anymore, Zook. Use the pair I bought for you. No. <laughs> Look at you two! I'd love to sit here and listen to you both all day, but uh, you have somewhere to be, right? That's all for today. Thank you for calling in, Arnold! Till next time, Vinyl City! Hey, Cliff. Whoa, those are some intense scribbles. A one-of-a-kind musician awaits. Oh, I've seen her videos. She seems very loopy. Uh, that's Eve for you. Known to be the most eccentric artist of NSR. Nobody knows what goes on in her mind. Well, nobody but Zook, I reckon. Huh? Oh, he didn't tell you? Tell me what? Eve and I, we had some history together. What? They used to be in a band. W -w -w what And if anyone knows her best, it's probably Zook. She was your ex-bandmate, Zook? Yeah, we didn't leave on good terms, though. Now that rules out the possibility of dropping by as a visitor, then. But don't worry, I've got a plan. There's to be an exhibition at her gallery. She'll be there, so head over and I'll make sure the security system won't be a bother to you. And please, be careful. Eve is without a doubt the most dangerous artist NSR has to offer. There's a reason why Tatiana keeps her as the CEO's right-hand woman. Got it, Cliff. You ready, Zook? Zook? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, May, I've been meaning to ask, who's that? Him? Uh, Geeky, was it? Isn't he your friend? I thought he was your friend.
Adik Zuk, mana kau gila? Baru nangis dalam toilet ke? Macam dulu kat college, tak lagi perempuan nampak kan? <laughs> West, look, we must stop this. There are bigger things we need to deal with here. Like what? Nak ngorak perempuan lain? Uh, Nadia dan Mede. Tak cukup ke? Ish, ish, ish. Zook, so nakal. Damn, sudah. I'm here trying to be civil about this and you, you, your mouth just keeps spewing all kinds of garbage. Zook, chill. No, May. This guy needs to know that it's not my fault. He became a freaking loser. Phew. Maha betul lah budak ni. Macam ni lah. Apa kata kau ambil marah kau tu dan harap aku di... Ewah! Rat battle! Stop it! You're not gonna pull that stunt on me again! I'll go first! Ah, damn it! Even when you messed me up in college, it never killed me, gave me knowledge. I stood strong and grew larger. My vocabulary, it was extraordinary. My roots were so deep from the underground. I was centered on ground zero. No cash, no money all around me. Though it ruled the world all around me. I grew big, I grew strong. My rap game was so on. From the sea grew an empire. My words spit fire through the city. I made sure everyone knew who DK West was. <laughs> Ewa! DK West, DK West, he's on there. My brother, I met no disorder. We got bigger issues to deal than past life ordeals. NSR, the evil empire. We gotta bring them down. Kill them with fire. Seal them with music. Put our differences aside. And bring our powers together. For a ride. For a ride. For a ride. Zoo. You made me want to look, forget all our past, but it has not passed yet. In college, you wanted to be president, rule all the residents, but your heart was never noble. You just did it to get back at me. It stemmed from your jealousy, your never-ending rivalry. Well, I'ma bring my cavalry, my rhymes loaded with poetry, my words laced with symmetry, my rhythms pure artistry. What you got besides, oh yeah, nothing tree. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, West, you only know anger and violence. Remember when those NSR fans burned down your car? You dissed them and pissed them till they missed their own sanity and acted out with profanity to light up your car and see it burn. Cause you let their desire of hate towards yourself. My rivalry with NSR was the tipping point. I left Vinyl City. No one had to force me. I gave Tatiana the horn of mending. For if she ever wanted to reconcile, she could blow the horn and I would accept her apology. No worries, no problem, and that ain't an analogy. Your solution to everything is just run, run, run. You ran away from NSR. You ran away from Vinyl City. You ran away from college. You ran away from me. When I was more popular than you, you couldn't stand it through and through. <laughs> Hey, Zook, 
stop blaming me all the time. If you weren't so jealous, we wouldn't be so messed up. It's your fault our relationship was ruined. Zook's fault. Take responsibility for your irresponsibility. best to keep in touch with you but you never reply radio silence zero decibels so when you say it's my fault the heck i am pissed for you i ain't taking the blame for your own thing in fact forget this forget you you're no brother of mine i disown you we ain't related you're no brother you're no brother you ain't no brother of mine <sighs> Zook, I'm no brother, huh? <laughs> yeah, kan? Aku beda dulu, balik quit. West out. Yeah, that's right. You better leave. Gee, Zook. What? You're no brother? Oh, can you get any more emo than that? Hey, look, I try to be nice, okay? I've looked up to him all my life and for no reason, he treats me like garbage. Who do you think has been trying to reach out to him all year? All year long. And now he just pops up from God knows where and he still has the gall to say that all this is my fault? Ah! Uh-huh, you keep this up and it'll definitely be your fault, Zook. Oh, 
unfettered by ordinary limits. Presenting DJ Subatomic.
kid. Where's your little cape? I saw how you guys beat those robots and take down that huge battleship all with the power of rock. Yeah, couldn't have said it better. With the power of rock. After seeing that, I thought I would like to be a rock star like you two. What about the Air Force? There's no Air Force, man. Yeah, so I would like to become a rock star instead. What do you think? Well, it's no walk in the park despite how glamorous it may seem, but why not? Everyone has a right to pursue their interest in music. Woohoo! Do us a new dream, boys! Hmm. What instrument should I pick up? The guitar? Like Mayday? Drums? Like Zilk? Or... Whoa, I'd recommend trying out one at a time, kid. 